have a look sometime on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I've got a new ROM for you guys. This is the Tesla ROM for the Galaxy Note 3. Um, you can go ahead and install this ROM on the T-Mobile Canadian SMN9005, the international model, uh, or any models that have a Qualcomm-based CPU, except for AT&T and Verizon. Obviously, because you have lock bootloaders, I would avoid them at all costs if you want cool AOSP ROMs like this. Now, this is an AOSP ROM running on the latest Android 5.1.1. Uh, you're going to lose all of your TouchWiz features. Your, your S Pen still works, uh, but you know, you'll need to use alternative apps and stuff. Uh, but you can do pretty much basic writing and all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to do like uh, more complex TouchWiz stuff, then I do suggest sticking, sticking uh, with the TouchWiz ROM. Now this ROM is pretty cool. Um, it comes with a custom kernel, uh, so you can actually overclock it. And this is the Tesla ROM, Android 5.1.1. You'll get Super SU uh, for root. And also, if you want to overclock, uh, it does come with this kernel auditor program. You can go ahead and run this uh, and go up here, go to CPU, uh, and go ahead and change your maximum frequency uh, from 2.265, that's default. You can go all the way up to 2.726. That's how I have it here, as you can see here. Uh, this will allow you to uh, overclock and get a lot more faster performance. On N22, I scored about, I think, 45,000 uh, on that clock. So um, it's not a huge improvement, but if you play a lot of games, it could help. Uh, but without overclocking, it's fast already. So if you don't absolutely need it, I suggest actually just leaving it on uh, without overclocking. Now, as far as customization features on this ROM, um, you can use the Tesla coil on here. Uh, which allows you to uh, change the quick settings, uh, your quick settings down here. Let's say you don't want to enlarge the first row, uh, then you can go ahead and enable that. Uh, show four tiles, uh, you'll be able to put more stuff there. You'll be able to configure your tiles, um, and there's a ton more options, just like other AOSP ROMs. Now, probably not going to go over everything on this ROM because I went over it a bunch of times. Uh, but let me just give you a glimpse of some of the stuff. Um, navigation, you can go ahead and change your navigation hardware buttons, customize it. Uh, also, your navigation bar, you can go ahead and enable the soft buttons if you want. Uh, also, slim pie, if you want pie controls, enable that. Um, you can go ahead and customize the buttons. Also, make sure you change uh, the trigger options to the right if you're right-handed like myself, and then it'll trigger from the right. Uh, that's nice. Uh, also, global menu. Uh, this is, I believe, the power menu here. Go ahead and add screen recorder uh, if you want. All right. Um, so it's got pretty much everything you can do on an AOSP ROM. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them. You can see it right here. And it's a really nice customizable ROM. Let's say in like one sentence, this is a slim ROM with more customization you can do than slim ROM. Of course, you get all of the features from Slim ROM. Uh, you get a Slim launcher. You can go ahead and change the grid size here. Also, add gestures if you want. Also, another thing nice about Slim ROMs, um, this is not Slim ROM, but this is based off Slim ROM, I think. You can go ahead and enable uh, floating windows if you want, uh, enable multi window top, bottom, all that good stuff. Also, definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. I really like it because it's got some excellent battery life. Um, and if you're looking for a good AOSP ROM, I mean, there's a ton out right now. They're all very, very similar. Uh, but this one, I think it's a little bit more geared towards uh, those of you who like slim ROMs, but you want more customization. Again, this ROM is available for all the Qualcomm variants, uh, unless you have a locked bootloader like AT&T and T-Mobile. But do check it out for this week's ROM of the week and do let me know. And I'll have more uh, ROMs coming here. Uh, with TouchWiz this week for the Note 3, so watch out for that. If you're waiting for the TouchWiz ROMs, you can go ahead and make a backup ROM and try this, and then if you don't like it, go back, you know, do all that good stuff. And uh, I have more stuff coming. I also have the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus ROM that you can install on S6 and S6 Edge. If you guys want to see that, don't forget to let me know. I'll post that real soon here. But I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully you guys like my new setup here. I've got a uh, green screen. It's just a blue screen. I've got this uh, on camera so I can switch back and forth easily. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys soon as always. I'll stay on Android.